Now to our News for Jack's iTeam investigation. Track her. You've probably seen headlines about people being tracked with the Apple AirTag. And you may be wondering if the low price device is a safety risk to you and your family. While these devices were created with good intentions to help you find your lost items, some are using them to spy and stalk unsuspecting victims. Consumer investigator Lauren Burnham shows us just how easy it is to be tracked and what to do if you find one on you. If you know how to use the GPS feature on your phone, turn left onto broadcast place. Then you have all you need to know to track someone using one of these devices. This is open season for criminals. At just $29, Apple's AirTag promises to help you track down your lost item. For example, if you have always misplaced your wallet, attach an AirTag, set up the device to your phone, and if you lose it, either set off an audible ping or track it using GPS. I enlisted the help of my co-anchor and iTeam investigator, Vic Michalucci, to try it out. i name it Lauren. Tracking Lauren. In less than a minute, the device was connected to Vic's phone. Well, that was super easy. <laughs> that was really easy. The tag so small that even when I looked for the device, knowing Vic put it in my bag. I already lost it. Where did you put it? The rules of the day were simple. I would not tell Vic where I was going, and his job was to track me. All right, bye. See you when I see you. Oh, hopefully not. All right, our first stop is going to be the gas station. So what's going to be interesting is we're now officially away from Vic's phone, and obviously the tracker's on me, so I should be getting a notification sometime that says there's the tracker on me, so let's see how long that takes. But... Yeah, so far, didn't let me know. Here's the first location. She is off Atlantic Boulevard near Kings Avenue, and she's at a gas station, the Daly's gas station right there. Next stop, Arlington. There she is, found her, updated. So it did take a little time to get her accurate location, but now it says it updated just two minutes ago, and she's at two of her favorite places, Starbucks, and target we are gonna get some lunch and actually it's been about an hour that we've been away from the device well away from vic's phone i've still gotten no not notification remember she's the red flag right there that's our little dot that's where we are and boom there she is Boo. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. How hard was it to find me? Not very hard at all. While I knew I was being tracked, okay. others may not. At least not right away. According to Apple's website, AirTag is designed to discourage unwanted tracking. If someone else's AirTag finds its way into your stuff, your iPhone will notice it's traveling with you and send an alert. And I did eventually receive an alert. Three hours after Vic first started tracking me, the notification even letting me see exactly where I've been followed. So yesterday, Vic tracked me. Today, we want to try it out for a second time. This time, I'm enlisting the help of Reagan. She's one of our News for Jack's producers. This time, it took about two and a half hours before I received the first notification. The air tag was on me. I showed the video to News for Jack's crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson. The problem with this is Law enforcement doesn't have a leg to stand on right now. It is taped to my car. While there have been multiple reports across the country of Sorry, these air sure. tags showing up in people's personal items, the use of tracking itself isn't a crime yet. I also showed attorney John Phillips the same video. Do you think after watching that video, he could be charged with anything? In Georgia, I think he'd, he'd be okay. In Florida, he's right at the edge. Between how the laws are written and how new the technology is, at this point, there is very limited protection if someone decides to use a tracking device to watch your every move. Scary, right? So Apple says if someone finds an air tag on them, they should contact police and disable the device. You can do that by opening the back, taking out the battery. You can see that right there. That breaks the connection between the air tag and the person tracking it. But some advocacy groups, they're pushing back against Apple. Stop the Surveillance Technology Oversight Project sent this letter to Apple demanding it stop the sale of air tags altogether, saying its safeguards just are not working. The group is actually going to 
join me tomorrow morning at 9.15 on The Morning Show to talk about what it sees as the biggest dangers and concerns with the tracking device. Joy, Tark. Well, Lauren, uh, what if I have an Android or don't have a smartphone at all? How am I going to know one of these AirTags is on me? Yeah, again, so this is an Apple AirTag. If you have an Android phone, Apple actually recently launched the Tracker Detect app in the Google Play Store, so you'll find that right there. The app lets users scan for an AirTag on them, but you do have to scan for it. And if one is found, you're going to be able to play a sound just like if you had an Apple phone. Now, if you don't have a smartphone, Apple says if an AirTag is separated for a significant significant period of sound of time, a sound's going to automatically play. I don't know if you can hear it. It's kind of making that sound right now. So within 8 to 24 hours of the device being gone from its owner, that device is going to go off. At that point, if you find it again, Apple says, take the battery out and call police. Lauren, thank you.